I miss my wife. Should I call her during separation? So, this is a, a big one. I, I think it's a big one because it puts um, it puts people in a very spotty, <sighs> tricky place. Mm. I miss my wife. Should I call her during separation? They're going through separation. Mm -hmm. This person is listening to all kind of online stuff. No contact. Don't touch this. <laughs> don't do that. Mashu mato. Oh my god! <laughs> right. Um, and that's what happens when people go through turmoils in their relationship. They start reading, hopefully, mm -hmm. not everyone does not that, everyone but does. they start reading and they start reading, don't do this, do it this way, exit, you know, and then eventually that becomes crazy too because you start to feel like, wait, this is supposed to be effortless. Why am I following all these crazy rules and all this thing, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. um, but let's address this one thing. I miss my wife. Should I call her during separation? If the person is feeling this way, would you advise for them to call? I mean, it depends, again, because I don't know the full story. Like, how long have they been separated? That's a good question. What caused the separation? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it, it depends. You know, some people, if you are the type that you don't know when to back off, mm -hmm. I would say no. Go you should and probably practice back yourself. off. Yes. <laughs> practice backing off. If you have been the one calling all the time, you are you tend to pick up the phone and just want to call and talk her to death. Mm. Don't do it. Mm. Now, if you're the one that never engages, that never call, mm. yes, you can try that. Mm. Because guess what? You have to flip the script. Yes. You have to be unpredictable. You have to flip it. So it depends on, you know. On your situation per se. That's correct. Because some people become stalkers during separation. Right. If you're being called the stalker, it's probably a bad idea to call. Do not call. Yeah. You have to prove that you're yeah. not a stalker. So usually when it's a marriage, you don't get called a stalker. So you have to kind of read their vibes. If they're feeling like they have to run from you, mm -hmm. if they are the one who pulled the trigger and says they're done. Mm -hmm. and they don't want you contacting them mm -hmm. um, you want them to earn you back right yeah um, I know that sounds crazy but she says she doesn't want it but she's human All right. so if we know humans mm -hmm. right the way they work is that they look at um, they look into the past with the rose gold colored tinted glasses right but only if you're not in their face. Yes, if you no, allow them yeah. to. If you're, if they're looking into, if you have good experiences, you have good times in the past. Mm -hmm. This is the moment. If you're a Christian, you let God work on them, mm -hmm. for you, yeah. right? Uh, this is the moment to to really do, just back off, the opposite of what you used to do. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say you were the one who uh, she was just always looking for quality time with you yes and then you never listened you've come to the conclusion that you never listened and then it's caused the breakdown of the marriage mm -hmm. into a place where she's now decided that she needs to treat herself and it's not separation um the best thing you can do right now is call her yeah and say hey i was just thinking about you you'd be surprised yeah now here's the caveat mm -hmm. you don't want to call to have these toxic conversations mm-hmm you just, in fact, those toxic conversations will present themselves as a test. Okay? It's your job to learn how to navigate that and completely dodge it. And you have to dodge it by making sure, uh, by doing it in a way that she doesn't feel dismissed. Right. Right? Because that's another thing. That's another, another layer mm -hmm. of the whole thing. Right? So, I would definitely say uh, it depends. I agree with her. It depends. Um... You know, but I would also say if it's within the first 30 days, regardless, mm. I would say yes. The 30 days no contact rule can probably be very helpful. 
um, you may have fear that what if what the worst case scenario happens in that 30 days. Honestly, what if? What if? What are you gonna do? If you can't handle the worst case scenario that comes to your mind, that's probably why you're destroying your marriage. You have to be self-sustainable, self-sufficient, be okay with what ifs, because this is another human being you're dealing with, right. and you have to be comfortable allowing them to be adults. Mm -hmm. So that means you have to exercise some sense of security in yourself, because the what ifs is a, is a space of insecurity. Yes. You know? Uh, and if I answer that what if, it doesn't, if you notice, know it doesn't really make you feel secure suddenly. Mm-hmm. You just, it's, you're just probably going to catch anxiety yeah. that will make you make that call and then destroy things even further. Or when you get on that call, let's say, for example, you're the one that didn't spend quality time. You get on that call right now and instead of you to say something like, hey, uh, I'm just thinking about you. Don't say I miss you. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit too much. It means the same thing, mm -hmm. but when you say, hey, just thought about you, just thought about you. Go on, what's up? Use language, light-headed language, just like mm -hmm. that, so that she doesn't feel the pressure. She you also allow her to wonder, allow her mind to wonder what you're up to, but she will feel good still that right. you called. But if she's running from you because you've been smothering her and calling every second, you absolutely don't want to call right now. She She's exited and basically terminated your relationship. Yes. She has to reinitiate the relationship. Yeah. And I know that's very difficult for a lot of people to handle. It is. Because of the anxiety. What if I lose her forever? The question is, what if you lose her forever? That's the question we've been trying to answer. You're pushing her away further because you're not secure in yourself. And it shows in how you move. It shows in your energy. That's why she's running. Mm -hmm. That's why she's running away from you. So the best gift you can give her right now is that space. Yeah. Well, forget all that. The best gift you can give yourself, yourself. right now mm. is that space. You need to build some self-esteem. Respect yourself. Have some self-respect. If somebody says no, they don't want, they don't want to do anymore, say, okay, let me know if you change your mind. Have some self-respect. Act like you have some options because if you don't come off like you have options to her, she would never she want, want you. want you. Yeah, absolutely. Come on. She didn't get to decide that. It's just the way the human brain works. Mm -hmm. Anything that's readily available, we take it for granted. That's just how we work. I know it sucks. <laughs> But that's it how is it what works. It is. Yeah. But once you start practicing this right now, eventually it becomes second nature and you'll be able to attract love mm -hmm. one more time, but you'll also be able to maintain it the right way. Yeah. With or without her. Obviously, preferably you want it to be her, right? Mm -hmm. But your best chances is to learn how seduction works, learn how attraction works, okay? Whatever your natural thinking mind tells you to do, you probably should be doing the opposite. Um, if he tells you to hug up on her and smother her further because you're trying to control the situation, mm. you probably should be letting go. I know that sounds scary too. Let go. I want my wife back. Yeah. You have to let go first yeah. so that she can come to you. Because if you let her go, you increase the chances that she will come back to you dramatically because most men out there, they can't do that. They will try to smother her to death. She needs to feel safe. She needs to think about you as a, a, a space of safe and security. And then she will run back to you. She will run back to you if you give her that space. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't, it just probably means the damage was too much. And you probably don't need to be in that situation either. Okay? But you will increase the chances that she will come back if you, again, do the opposite give it some 30 days absolutely if there's separation everyone needs that breathing space to reprocess to rearrange their mind how they feel mm -hmm. after 30 days if you were the one who was the culprit you you didn't give her enough quality time and stuff like that mm -hmm. give her a call and say hey I just thought about you what's up just what's up not i love you not let's work on this marriage not, none of that no, not let's go no, see a counselor no, no begging none of that you need to start all over. It's a brand new relationship. Mm -hmm. Brand new completely. 
and you need to allow her to do the initiation of everything else just be present and make her feel safe that's all you have to do that's literally all you have to do what what happened what's kissing her she comes and say i thought you were at least want to work on the marriage You're like, what do you mean you want to work on the marriage yeah sure it's better that way mm. because it's her idea right but why didn't you say it first uh, i just want to make sure you're comfortable right I just want to make sure you're comfortable she will appreciate that yeah yeah so uh, it's game and yes you have to learn the game if you want this to work not just in this relationship if you go into another relationship and not learn this it Same will still thing affect will happen you again. Mm -hmm. yep